What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Diablo 3 video. This is going to be a little progression series thing. As you can see, I'm on a monk. Obviously level 70, currently Paragon 250. And I am using the R6 Generator Monk. But I'm going to have a little bit of a progression thing. I got that, which is so shite, but... Just go over how I'm doing. So yeah, let's just quickly go over things. Got my Shenlong's Fist. They're not really very good weapons, but I need the two set bonus. Spirit Generator bonus. Obviously got my R6, six bonus, because I'm using Ring of Royal Grandeur. Got a little string of yeah, it's not the greatest one. Spirit Guards, same, not great. Got my Traveler's Pledge, Compass Rose Sorted. Got all my three gems, so that's still only level 10, that's level 25. Lefevre's Soliloquy, got that on. It's a horrible, horrible roll. In my cube, so I'll go down to the cube. I've got my Royal Ring, my Depth Diggers, and I've currently got a Furnace, because I don't yet have a Fine Dragon. Which obviously is going to hamper me a lot because I need that spirit regen. So yeah, let's uh, let's just sit back and watch the uh, DR50, and we'll progress from there, shall we? As you can see, the mobs are absolutely melting. So, GR50 is obviously not my highest push I can do. I can do a lot higher than this, I think. I just, I need to get the, need to get the flying dragon, to be honest. So, right, let's be first elite pack. Let's get some damage in, court. and they're already gone. Yeah, they melted. So yeah, level 50 is definitely too low for us, but like I said, it's going to be a sort of progression video and I was, as I was saying that, I need to get myself killed, but that was my own fault. If you don't have spirit guards up, all of ever is like instantly, it hurts. Such a glass cannon. I don't know whether I'm going to... Switch to a LTK pet build, like even to push with, because it's a really dam it's really heavy damage and build. But we shall see when I get to there. I should have went over the skills. I'll quickly go over them at the end. But I'm using. I'm currently still using a. What's it called? Dashing, uh, dashing strike. Um, there's a shroud. I'm still using Epiphany Desert Shroud. I maybe shouldn't be, but I am. I prefer it. I prefer the 50%. I haven't got... If I'm using Royal Ring, if I'm using the six-piece belt, the Feathers, I could really change out Royal Ring, take off the Feathers and use a Unity instead. So it means I get to keep the convention, because you need a Unity anyway another thing I haven't yet got is a unity but oops saved by the ding can't do it pylon yes I know I said can't do it but you know what I mean it's a bit of fun let's do this got a oculus ring on my follower my follower has has got the thing that makes him not die but there's somebody been here somewhere, there is. So yeah, as you can see, I'm absolutely racing through it. Not really any sweat, really, but... As soon as I get to... The Shenlong window, the spirit just drains all. And I'm not... This is why I need the Flying Dragon. Look how slow the spirit's going up. So if I use any skills while I'm trying to generate spirit, it's just so slow, so I need that flying dragon. Is 
Look, being back in the UK, loads of roundabouts. Haha. <laughs> Everything is just melting. Let's jump onto this. I'm so bad at the spec that I, I keep forgetting to dash. I, I, I'm like, wait, you're right, I'm in the stride of punch, 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 and haven't dashed. I'm like, for fuck's sake, I'm not doing any damage, but. That's just something you gotta learn to do. Obviously, you've got to dash every six seconds to get that little on buff right there. Very little thousand stones, it's called. Which gives you a 1250% increased damage. Couple that along with your Shenlong's fist, and you get a crap ton of damage. It's, it just melts with Guardians, basically. So it might take you a little bit longer to kill all the trash, which it shouldn't because look at the damage you're doing, but you, the survivability is shocking, so you might have to move around a bit more and not be able to just like stand in there and pile up the damage and ramp up the damage. Yeah, I've got being the stricken, so the ramping up the damage should be quite easy. Use a dash. Come on, die, you motherfucker. I do apologize for the language, but I, t I don't really know what I'm doing the most time. Let's ramp that back up. I'm, I'm a hundred, like, million percent missing the flying dragon. It's, it's unreal how. I've got a kind of, was a 377 spirit, which is not tacky. It's not great, but it's not tacky. Let's get that Shenlong up. Even without Shenlongs, I'm looking at the damage there. Now Shenlongs kicked in and it's absolutely wrecked them, but even without Shenlongs, I was still doing fine. What the hell's that? Pool of blood. packs and we've got this maybe just this pack here. Yeah. One more Ooh, there we go. And we're out with zero spirit so get my spirit guard going. That's what I mean it's it'll wreck this like I'm not even in Shenlongs and now I'm in Shenlongs and it should just melt. And as you saw there I failed right at the end because I let I let me um buff drop off because I didn't dash because I was just whacking away but a little bit annoyed at myself you take the I've got depth diggers even though I've just found them for the first time in ages in as which is not bad and um, right where am I I need to get being the trapped up I didn't empower this so I only got the four back in the town and I'll quickly go over the skills I'm using. Which is the same for any R6 generator build, basically. Everybody knows that. What's this here? Someone's getting in my way on my camera. One of my hoodies. <laughs> um, yeah, so the build, obviously, Mangle. you got Psycho on Psycho, pulls and pull everything in. Infused with light. Radiance on Dash and Strike, but you can use the playing speed if you're struggling for a bit of survivability. I'm using Epiphany Desert Shroud. A lot of people use Wave 100 Fist Simulation. But that's main, more of a push and build because you need to, obviously, higher density, higher, greater rifts. Pull them all in, boom, 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 get 10, 20, 30 stacks or whatever, and it's 5%, I think it is. It just doesn't increase your damage. I'm sure it's something like 5% per stack. Maybe not that much, but. And then we've got Mental Salvation, Agility, Exalted Soul, Station Initiative, Alacrity, and Army. But yeah, that is a GR50. The start of this progression. Obviously, we'll done it in 8 minutes, 40 seconds remaining, so it wasn't, wasn't hard. Still getting as a kind of a paragon, so I'm enjoying it. So yeah, thanks for watching and.
please like and subscribe. See ya.